closing market comments for Friday, February the 26th. The markets opened slightly lower last night, but quickly sold off. Corn was down 10, beans down 26, and wheat down 19 cents at one time, but were able to rally off the lows. Corn ended the day only down 2, beans down 3, but wheat unfavor unfavorably stayed down 15 cents. Traders are still reacting to the disappointing sales report from yesterday. Not much fresh news to give the bulls any, any fodder to buy today. French soft wheat was rated at 87% good to excellent. That's down 9% from November, but still 23% above last year. Kazakhstan increased their grain harvest for 2020 from 17.4 to 20.1 million metric tons. European Union increased their wheat crop from 116.4 million metric tons to 117.1 and increased the corn crop there from 62.6 .6 to 64.8 million metric tons. IGC increased the world wheat crop for 2021 to 773 million metric tons. That's up five. Pressure was also on the soybeans from fears of new strains of the African swine fever coming into China, cutting feed usage. A lot of talk of lower pig production being found there, but China is denying that, so we'll have to see which one is really the right story. The dollar was extremely strong today. That put some pressure on the grains as well. Dollar was up 780 points, closing at 90.915. Gold was down 46.20 at 17.28 and 20 cents. And silver was down 1.037 at 26.60. Crude oil was lower today on the higher gold price, down 187 at 6166. Stock markets were mixed with Dow futures at 505, NASDAQ up 58, and S&P down 26. Crop insurance price average is done now for the month. Corn average 458.4 and soybeans 1186.6. I would expect that crop insurance premium costs are probably going to be higher this year because of increased price for one and strong volatility in the markets right now. So both of those will lead to that. Next WASDE report will be released on March 9th. Traders are expecting some adjustments in exports. We'll have to see. Planning intentions will be released on March 31st along with the March 1st stocks report. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.